This is what I would like to think as more of an interesting designer arrangement using very basic materials, nothing too expensive here, um, yet to give a very interesting effect. Can you all kind of see that? If you look beyond my halo, can you all kind of see that? Okay, fabulous. Uh, okay, so I took what is known in Country Bassett's world as a Luna plate, which I think is 12 99 It's available just behind you to the left slightly. Um, and in there I put a tub of white gravel, you know, snow, uh, in the bottom of that, a few leaves, a few of uh, the baubles. Then this structure is made of real wire. Very, very simple. Yes, I took the I took real wire off three spools of wire. Just had it in a big heap in my hotel floor last night, like this, looking like a madman. If someone would have walked in, don't know what they would have thought. But um, anyway, and you literally just crash the wire together. I don't have a huge amount here, but you kind of pull it to create some space and then gently work it together in an even kind of form. Now, you might look at this and think, oh my god, that's not really a technique. You're just crushing, you're just you know, smashing wire together. The, the, the trick to it, shall we say, is to get a good even distribution of space throughout the overall design. So you don't have some areas that are very, very dense and very, very compact. And you don't have areas that are very gappy and very holy um, as well. Get an even distribution of thickness, and then you kind of mold it or pull it into the shape you want it to be and then start weaving it in on itself by chopping in pieces just to create a rough overall form. Now this is a very, very small piece of it I'm making here. Um, I'm using for this design a great range of a lot of the like oystery, champagne-y pewter colours which are bang on trend this year. So I'm just going to work these through these poinsettias. Uh, obviously most important for working with silk is a very good pair of wire cutters. Uh, so inside here I have some baubles, I have some leaves. And this design is one of those pieces that if you made it with fresh, perhaps, you would have like small test tubes in here and you would then only need to really replace the flowers. So the best way with any structure is make the structure, spend the time making it, make sure it looks good, and then once the flowers pass away, you can add a little bit, you can have fresh ones in and reuse the structure, which I think is always a, always a good thing. I'm also using the real wire here to kind of thread the material in between, just to keep it in place and also to kind of bring this out and hook it over the pieces of uh, material that I'm putting in. It's just a great way of using the actual structure mechanic to keep the whole thing together. So there's no foam, there's no, um, no glue, or it's just kind of literally placed into the structure. I'm going to tell you that this arrangement is pretty much finished. Uh, as you saw me, very, very quick to do, maybe 10, 15 minutes just actually putting the flower in. Very, very simple, very pretty, and once the flowers have passed away, you can always add in fresh. Thank you very much.